Hi CMA Manager users, it's Nate, Wixoft in Columbus, Ohio. Today we're going to look at some functions in CMA Manager that allow us to inspect parts uh, with warped edges or warped in nature. So we've got today a nominal CAD model with typically in an area on this part, if you're familiar with our training work base, uh, you'd have a section with some curvature. So Instead, I've got a CAD model where we've flattened out that section and just have a planar section that we can use for teaching some inspection points. And the idea is that we're going to inspect our actual workpiece today that does indeed have some curvature. And what we want to avoid doing is creating a program where we have to use very large approach and back off distance to deal with these surfaces that maybe have five, 10 millimeters worth of warp. Instead, what we'd want to do is program a series of points using a reasonable approach and back off distance. So maybe one, two millimeters. So that's gonna save a whole lot of time versus driving the machine. You know, a lot of times that full 10 millimeter approach distance when you've got a, a part that's warped in the downward direction. So we're gonna create a series of edge point measurements that use previous measure, measurement data, so the previously measured point, to establish the starting point for each subsequent measured point. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, again, we're going to be using edge point. So with edge point, we'll pick the adjacent edge that we're interested in, in measuring our final edge point. Uh, we have some parameters here. So indent and depth uh, are going to be distance from one edge where the sample point is located and then a distance from the same common edge where the final depth of your measured point will be. You can see here I'm using a approach and back off distance of two millimeters. So just to show briefly this measurement you can see here in real time in our teach environment up with a point as such. And then to make this whole series of, of subsequent uh, kind of adaptive measurement work, we will set an origin to the previous point. And then we'll also add a runtime align part command. And then to replicate this point uh, in some sort of series of points, uh, one easy way of doing this highlight the group of features, right click, choose transform. So now from transform, we can specify a pitch distance between each subsequent point uh, and then a number of points. And then you do have some options here, you know, through what reference frame do you wanna perform this transformation? Uh, so in this case, uh, the edge that we're looking at follows the part coordinate system. So we can simply use this current reference frame option. If you had some sort of edge that followed a compound angle, you could set up your alignment accordingly uh, and then choose actually uh, a named reference frame here to you know, specify your XYZ offsets. So now in our teach environment, we end up with a series of you know, the same repeating uh, edge point, setting an origin, runtime align part, the end of this whole thing in our teach environment, we will resynchronize our CAD model. I'm sorry. We will first recall our previous ABC alignment, so the alignment on the corner of the part, and then uh, add a sync CAD to our program. So that will just restore our coordinate system to the point that it was at uh, before this whole series of measurements. So let's go ahead and play this thing. Keep an eye on the top left corner. Uh, you'll see uh, using virtual CMM today actually a representation of my actual part. Getting a prompt actually on another display. Sorry, do I want to skip my manual alignment? So yeah, in this case, I previously had the part aligned. So again, if you're paying attention here in the top left view, uh, you will see that the approach and back off is no more than two millimeters. And then if we look 
in CMA Manager, you should also see that despite the original nominal edge where we've programmed that first point and all of the subsequent points, uh, that we have a series of points uh, that are measured on an edge, uh, actually one millimeter below uh, the actual edge based on each subsequent sample point. So you can imagine this is going to save a lot of time again compared to setting a very large approach and back off distance to accommodate this warpage. Uh, here we're taking a more adaptive process and setting the target position for each subsequent point based on the previous measured point. We have to thank one of our CMM manager users today uh, that suggested uh, actually this functionality. Uh, so the tutorial video that I'm creating, if all goes well, is a temporary solution to something bigger that we're working on uh, in the development team. So the idea that we have is to take this series of uh, points and this kind of programming methodology and, and create one canned routine where you could just pick on an edge and, and let the software uh, figure out through a single program operation uh, how to effectively follow this type of edge. So again, looking here at our results in run mode, we see some curvature that represents our actual workpiece uh, that we're working with today. And then back in teach mode, of course, original series of points were programmed uh, from that nominal uh, edge. So that does it. Uh, look in the description for a link to our support portal where you'll be able to download a sample program from today's exercise. Uh, also keep an eye on the portal for continued tutorial and CMA Manager documentation. Thank you all.